the body, the mind. What is the impact of that which is organic, that which is biological, and that which comes from our thoughts and feelings? The placebo is calling into question the representations of the relations between our body and our mind, a subject that for centuries has been the source of philosophical debates. For Western medicine, this is inspired by Descartes. Body and mind are two separate entities. Today, this opposition remains the basis of modern medicine's treatment strategy. At the heart of this conception, the brain, a highly sophisticated biochemical machine, an assembly of over 100 billion neurons, each one containing over 10,000 connections and transiting electric impulses. Let's look into the case of pain. Pain is one of the sensations most sensitive to the placebo effect. The link between pain sensation and the brain was one of the first to be described with precision. In our body, a painful stimulus firstly triggers a reflex. It's an involuntary reaction, and the muscles contract to distract the subject from the pain. Another mechanism is active at the same time. A neuron transmits the information to the brain. It's thanks to this information that the patient feels the sensation of pain. When the sensation becomes too strong, the organism has a last resort solution available. An interneuron linking the brain to the spinal cord triggers the release of a special hormone in the synapse connected to the spine. It is a neurotransmitter named encephalin. The encephalin attaches to the neuron's receptors, transmitting the pain to the brain. This action reduces the circulation of information to the brain, reducing the sensation of pain. When you inject a strong painkiller, an opiate like morphine, with its chemical structure similar to encephalin, it places itself on the neuron's encephalin receptors to block the transmission of a neurological flow of pain information to the brain and totally cancel the sensation of pain. When the morphine is replaced by placebo, an extraordinary phenomenon is produced. The body's natural encephalin, produced by the body itself, will be secreted in overabundance and act exactly like morphine, blocking the pain sensation. But how can a placebo, which is an inert substance, such a sophisticated psychological process? Though we are able to precisely describe the psychological mechanisms triggered by the placebo effect, we are unable to explain what triggered them. The Italian team of Professor Benedetti is studying to better understand this phenomenon so that it might be used in the context of analgesic medicines. A volunteer is prepared for the experiment. Okay, perfetto. Puoi accomodarti di là. A laser beam is aimed at the hand, provoking a pain that is similar to being pricked by a needle. The intensity of the beam is varied, and a control screen informs the volunteer about the changes. She must describe the intensity of the pain with numbers from 0 to 10. Quanto hai provato? Uh, cinque. At first, the patient's indication of her pain levels corresponds to the intensity of the laser. But the experiment becomes more fascinating in the next stage. The researchers will give information that is contradictory to the true intensity of the laser. Though the laser strength has increased, the information says it has lessened, and the volunteer indicates the pain has diminished. Inversely, she is informed that the laser has become more intense, though it has been diminished, and the patient indicates that her pain has risen. Sette. What has been recorded is, above all, the subjectivity of the volunteer's perception of her pain. In, In this experiment, we triggered a placebo effect in an experimental context. We're studying the placebo effect in a scientific manner, without any pills or creams. 
a queste procedure non si dà la pillola. With the pain we've triggered, we've shown that we can modulate the placebo effect in a patient. Modulare l'intensità e si ottiene l'effetto ugualmente. E ovviamente questo è importante, un bellissimo approccio perché ci It's a magnificent approach because it allows us to better understand how instead of injecting treatments, we can inject words and the words change the way our brain and its neurological circuits function. To believe in the treatment, the primordial factor in generating a placebo effect, the psychological preparation of the patient is extremely important. For pain or nausea, we might intuitively believe that these pathologies respond easily. But what about patients with incapacitating neurological diseases, such as Parkinson's disease? In the case of Parkinson's disease, the brain does not trigger the secretion of enough of the hormone dopamine. The disease is manifested by involuntarily trembling of the parts of the body. Little by little, the victim loses control of their body. For 20 years, there have been an increasing number of therapeutic tests to liberate dopamine output in patients' brains. Electrical stimulation, embryonic brain cell grafts, and mainly L-DOPA, a molecule that stimulates dopamine production. But a group of researchers in Vancouver have attempted the unthinkable, to trigger an increase in dopamine production using only a placebo. For the period of the test, doctors substitute the L-DOPA treatment with the placebo. The L-DOPA treatment with the placebo. The patients record a rapid improvement. His movements are more coordinated. They're shaky. Is the improvement simply psychological? Or has the brain really released more dopamine? The doctors attach the patients to medical imagery devices that can detect dopamine secretion inside the brain. And for the first time, an actual image of the placebo effect can be displayed. The image on the left shows the patient's brain before any treatment. The orange and red spots show that Parkinson's disease is active. They indicate the lack of dopamine in the brain. In the image on the right, the brain of the same patient after the placebo. The result, there are less spots. Under the effect of the placebo, the patient's brain has, for a certain period, increased its production of dopamine. What does that mean? It means there is truly an improvement using the placebo. This placebo pill allows the patient to increase their production of dopamine in the brain. This means that we've achieved a level of causality in the mechanism using the placebo that is extremely important. Meaning the patient is doing better not just by coincidence or by some parallel law, but rather by the endogenous production of the missing molecule by his own brain once he believes it's possible.